You're watching another great catfishing video from Learn to Catch Catfish with your host, professional guide, Chad Ferguson. Catfishing TV covers tips, tricks, and information to help you learn how to catch more and bigger catfish on your next fishing trip. The ultimate resource available for expert catfishing information. After watching, make sure you visit learntocatchcatfish.com. Now, here's your host, Chad Ferguson. Hey, this is Chad Ferguson with LearnToCatchCatfish.com and I'm going to talk a little bit about slip bobber rigs, slip float rigs, slip court rigs, depending on what you want to call them. There's a number of different names for it. You can go to 10 different streets, get 10 different answers on what these fishing rigs are called. Um, this is absolutely, hands down, one of the best rigs that I like to use for fishing for channel catfish. Um, fishing with different types of punch baits, these are deadly setups, slip corking for catfish, you pretty much can't beat it. Um, the difference between this and a lot of the other catfish rigs that I've talked about in some of my other videos and on learntocatchcatfish.com is the slip bobber rig uses the top of the water is a frame of reference for how deep you're going to fish. Um, I'm not going to go into great detail. You can go to learn to catch catfish and get the diagram on how to tie this rig up. I'm going to talk more about how to fish with this and what the benefit of fishing with a, with a uh, slip cork or slip bobber is. So when you have your water line and Obviously, one of the keys that I've covered is making sure that you know where the catfish are in that water column and using your graph to find that magic depth as to where those fish are holding. So if you're driving through 20 feet of water, you see catfish on your graph at 10 foot then the trick you have is to figure out how to get to those fish in that target depth range. So you have one of two options. You either use the bottom of a, as a frame of reference with a Santee rig and come up to those fish. You fish straight down off the side of the boat and count down line until you get to that target strike zone where those catfish are or you use a slip bobber from the top and use the water as a frame of reference to get that bait down to the right depth. So a slip bobber rig has a slip bobber and the main line that runs up to your fishing rod with a bobber stop attached to that main line fishing line. And what this bobber stop does is, and the bead that's added here, is stops that, that slip bobber or slip cork from going any higher on that fishing line than where you've set that stop. So if you're going to fish 10 feet down in 20 feet of water, then you go 10 feet up from your fishing line or your hook and set that bobber stop. And then when you cast out, that line's going to go down 10 feet here into that target zone of where those fish are going to be. Now, I had a bunch of emails about, well, what depth do I set that bobber stop at? Well, the depth you set that bobber stop at is the depth that the fish are at. Um, if you're fishing in eight feet of water, you know, you can go all the way down to seven feet or seven and a half feet and just kind of experiment with different depths until you find those fish, which is what you have to do if you're fishing in shallow water. If you're fishing in deeper water, then you have to use that graph and figure out where those fish are, how deep they're holding. You can take this all the way down to the bottom and you're going to come back up. The benefit of fishing with a slip bobber over a traditional bobber that you clip on the fishing line um, is that you do have that ability to fish very deep because if you're going to go down 10 feet you can't set a bobber 10 feet deep and cast it out you're going to have a huge mess on your hands um, with a slip bobber this bobber stop rolls back up into the fishing line and goes on to the reel 
So you can set that depth. If you're fishing in 50 feet of water and you want to go 48 feet down, you can set that depth at 48 feet and still use that bobber. Um, if you're fishing up in two or three feet of water and you decide that's not working for you, then you just adjust that depth on the bobber stop and you can move out deeper. Um, and it allows for quick and easy adjustments. Now, the reason that I prefer slip bobbers is that there are certain ones that are super effective for catching catfish because they have a much higher degree of sensitivity than a number of other types of floats that are out there. Again, one of my absolute best favorite ways of fishing for channel catfish is fishing with slip bobbers and slip corks. You can go to learntocatchcatfish.com and read the article I have on there called Catfish Punch Bait 101 covers a lot of the techniques that I talk about with fishing with different types of catfish punch bait with slip corks. Once you're done watching this video, go down below and leave us a comment and make sure that you go to learntocatchcatfish.com and read all the other catfishing tips and tricks that we have available through the website. Until next time, again, this is Chad Ferguson, learntocatchcatfish.com.